Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical equations. Given equation is square root of square root x plus 11 plus square root of square root x equal to 11. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started. I will demonstrate three different methods. So let me write here method number one and this method is called method of rationalization. So let us first consider square root of x equal to a. So our equation will convert square root of a plus 11 plus square root of a equal to 11. Now I will rationalize our LHS. So how it would be square root of a plus 11 plus square root of a. So I will multiply numerator denominator with square root of a plus 11 minus square root of a. So I need to multiply in the denominator also square root of a plus 11 minus square root of a. So we have multiplied numerator denominator with square root of a plus 11 minus square root of a equal to 11. Now you can see a plus b a minus b difference of two squares. Consider this is our first a b a plus b is done a minus b. So we know that a plus b times a minus b we can write in the form of difference of two squares. So I will write square root a plus 1 whole square minus square root of a whole square over square root of a plus 11 minus square root of a equal to 11. Now let's cancel this square and square root, square and square root. So what is left that is a plus 11 minus a over square root of a plus 11 minus square root a equal to 11. Now I can cancel these two terms. So what is left now? In numerator we are having 11. In denominator we are having square root of a plus 11 minus square root of a equal to 11. Now we can cancel these two numbers by writing over there 1. Divide both sides by 11. Same thing. Now cross multiply. So what we will be having after that? Square root a plus 11 minus square root a equal to 1. Now you can see this was our first equation and this is our second equation. So what I will do? I will write here square root of the first one a plus 11 plus square root a equal to 11. Now I will take away first equation from the second one. Okay. So what I will get or you can say take away second from the first one. Nothing will change only one minus sign will be extra. Okay. Let us do that. I will cancel these two. So I will write minus 2 times root a equal to minus 10. Now we can multiply with minus 1. So 2 root a equal to 10. Root a equal to 5. And what was a root x? So from here we can write a is equal to 25. Taking square both sides, so we can write a equal to 25. Once a is 25, taking both sides is square, so I can write x will be equal to 25 is square. So our answer becomes x is equal to 6 to 5. We will verify at last. Okay, this is our method number 1. Now come to method number 2. 
and this method is called method of algebraic manipulation so what i will do here i will consider first same thing i will consider square root x is equal to a so ultimate equation is square root a plus 11 plus square root a equal to 11. Now I will presume from myself the difference between two radicals square root a plus 11 minus square root a equal to suppose k. Okay. Once you will consider this term k unknown it is. Then what I will consider here, I will multiply both the equations. This one and this one. So what I will be having after that? Square root a plus 11 plus square root a times square root a plus 11 minus square root a. It would be equal to 11 times k. Now again same thing, you can see a plus b, a minus b form difference of two squares. Again I will write a plus b times a minus b. I will write a square minus b square. So let us apply here. A square root of a plus 1 whole square minus a square root a whole square equal to 11k. Let's expand. So how square root and square will be over. So I will write a plus 11 minus a equal to 11k. From here we can cancel plus a with negative a. So 11 is equal to 11k or k is equal to 1. So task is done. Now here I will write 1. Same job, same equations are framing now as method number one. So I will add both. So let me write this is my equation one and this is my equation two. If you will add you will calculate a from square root a plus 11 term and if I will subtract then I will get directly a. So let me consider subtraction. If I will consider one minus two see what will happen. Let me write here square root a plus 11 plus square root a. This is our equation number 1. Equation number 2 square root a plus 11 minus square root a equal to 1. Now take away. So sign will change. I will write here 10. This term will be over root a plus root a. So 2 root a. Now I can cancel these two numbers. Taking a square both sides, I will get a is equal to 25 same way. And what is our a? a is a square root x. So here I will write a square root x equal to a equal to 25. A squaring both sides, x will be equal to 6 to 5 or 25 a square. This is our method number 2. Now come to method number 3. And method number 3 is the conventional one. I will take this term to the right first. So I will write our equation without any substitution. Square root x plus 11 equal to 11 minus square root of square root x. Now I will consider whole square both sides. Let me write here whole square. Now I will use identity, algebraic identity, a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square in the right hand side. And left hand side you will cancel these two. And right hand side I will expand using a minus b whole square. So I will use a square plus b square minus 2ab. Let's apply over here first. So 121 a square is done plus b square then 1 square root will be over. So root x will be left after squaring it. Now minus 2ab so minus 22 and b is what you will write a square root of a square root x. 2ab a is 11 so 22 it will 
become and b is square root of square root x left hand side it is square root x plus 11 now i can cancel these two terms now i will take this term to the left and this term i will take to the right so equation will become 22 square root of square root x equal to 1 to 1 minus 11 which is 110 22 square root of square root x now divide both sides by 22 so i will write square root of square root x equal to 110 over 22 which will be equal to 5 so squaring both sides twice so i can consider root x equal to 5 square again squaring x is equal to 5 power 4 which is equal to 6 to 5 we are having 625 as our final answer let's verify so i will write here verification let me put x is equal to 6 to 5 so i will write square root of square root 6 to 5 let me write directly 25 or let us write 6 to 5 plus 11 plus square root of square root of 6 to 5 in next step we will write square root of 25 plus 11 plus square root of 25 square root 6 25 is 25 now this term is 36 this term is 25 this is 6 this is 5 answer becomes 11 i hope you like this video somewhere it would be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck